it, yeah, seemingly the engine won't be the limitation. What room is it? We can spin it. What's that? It's a G42, G one, of the, one of the G42s. Yeah. So I can pull up the actual one. 76? I think it's 74. 74, 76. So it's going to make like 750 or something like that because it's a rotary. The turbo size does like half of what like it would do on a piston. Uh, like I said, if it makes 750, I'll be happy. That'd be a good number for it, honestly. If it does that, I'd be happy with it. If it stays cool outside, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, it looks like there's going to be some moisture rolling in. I guess more so tomorrow. But I guess we'll see what that does too. What injectors do you have? It's uh, 2600 secondaries, 1700 primaries. On? E85? E85, yeah. Right now, what we'll do is like I'm gonna have the FT education class come. Okay, we'll cool. one more run. Okay, and then we'll pull plugs, look okay. at them, um, and that way we can have them involved with like looking at the plugs. Sure, and sure. Like that. Okay. Okay. Um, let me shut the truck off, please. And then, uh, then if you need to, I, I'm not sure if we have one more bag left, but yeah, grab a couple bags. Yeah, I'll, I'll just get a bunch. That way, you guys have some for next time. But I don't know, man. I'm, I'm almost feeling like the the higher end of my number might be possible. Like looking at that, if you think it has enough like boost. How much did it make there? 27. Yeah, so I mean, if it is looking good, I mean, you can probably get 30, low 30s, and I'm gonna try to see if it will. Yeah. Yeah. But it seems to be really liking the last like two runs, whatever you change in the last two runs. Mm -hmm. Like you just audibly hear it's completely different sounding. Yep. Yeah. And that little crackle at the end is when he pushes the clutch in. It goes to the two-step. Oh! And it goes to like negative 15 degrees of timing, and I didn't even think about that. So, most people, what they'll do is they'll have a button, and that button is two step, and then they'll have a clutch switch, and they call it clutch switch. So, when you push the button and then push the clutch switch, then the clutch switch becomes two step. That makes sense. And then me. otherwise, it's just clutch switch. So, what we can probably do is we can probably set up the two step as it is now. And then we'll just have to go back and add the button. Yeah. So that way we can. Yeah, and you can have a like a button or a, like a yeah. whatever, or you know, you I, just you just push the one and then push the clutch in. It it basically transfers the function from your finger to your foot. Okay. And then normal driving around and stuff like that, it's not gonna. Yeah. I didn't even I didn't even think about that. I thought we were being like smart and creative, and I didn't even think that <laughs> at the top of every single pull it would hit the two step. I guess for now, because it's just on an output, can you just turn it off for now? Yeah, I could. I was just saying that way it doesn't do it, and then, but that's kind of it's kind of funny that I didn't even realize that's what it was. I just thought it was like the top of the pole, and that's what it did. Like it just.
Should be, should be nine stock, to nine and They're half. stock LSA stock, stock LSA right? pistons, yeah. Yeah, but they're like the kind of like dish style where they're, they're designed for these, so. And yeah, LSAs, I don't know if these cylinder heads have the same size uh, combustion chamber, but they're not high compression, like from the factory. They're like nine and a half. Or yeah, that's what this motor should be, is like nine and a half. Some stuff to make the flex fuel work and, and did a couple other small things. I just want to see if it does what it did last time. Um, what kind of gun is this? Seven ran. Uh, seven is the limiter, I believe. So let me get, let me check on the computer. But yeah, it's gonna be like high 6,000, 6,800, stuff like that. Yeah, something like 68 is a good number. Uh, yeah, seven thousand is the rev limiter. Um. I have the dyno set up with the gear ratios and stuff to where I think you should be able to do it in fourth. Yeah. Um, so it should be somewhere around, I don't know, 3,500 RPM or 3,000, something like that. It made that number on the other dyno. So that's going to be our, our baseline. You have what do you have in mind? Like, what do you if if there's a goal that you want to get to and it doesn't and it's not too far outside of the realm, what would you like to see? 800? I want to see 900. 900? 900. I want to see nine. It can be nine zero zero point one. I just want to see 900. I don't know. We'll have to see. We if. We'll see. <laughs> yeah. And with that being said, not for video. Like, it's gonna make what it's gonna make. Like, would I love it to make 900? Yeah. If it doesn't, am I gonna be heartbroken? No. Like, whatever it makes and it's safe. Like, okay, like, that's fine. I think it should do probably easy, easy. And if that's where it sits, that's where it sits.
we put, I believe that we put like minimum 20% of problems. Uh, I don't remember. We need to put like five. So yeah, that's where I did most of the changes. Yeah. I didn't feel comfortable going much higher, like. Slightly richer than what we want. No, two is chasing it. Exactly. So look at this. Our target is 11.8, but it was actually 11.3. It was richer. But why it was richer? Because before, the ECU was adding 14%. As go richer and richer, the O2 corrections start to go down. Because the ECU was adding fuel for this area. But just after the sensor tail it was rich and the ECU started reacting. This is something that you can also change in the software if you want to change how aggressive the ECU will add or remove fuel. But normally our